Good afternoon. My name is Kirk Appleford, and I'm pleased to be here with you today to talk about solving agribusiness challenges with LoRaWAN. When we think about this, one of the most common terms that we refer to is smart ag. And when we think about smart ag, we're thinking about sensors at the field level and on your livestock. But there's a vast supply chain data relationship in which every participant requires data. So this area, even though we're acquiring the data at the growing, grower level, all of the other verticals above that want to be able to share that data, whether we're talking about banking, insurance, ag retail, input manufacturers, global food producers, or the consumer retail level. IoT sensor data value is relative to each vertical. So even though the data that we're acquiring is the same, how it's being utilized is absolutely different at each different level. So that's kind of where I'd like to de-emphasize SmartAg and emphasize more the agribusiness, agri-food vertical as a whole. So beginning with the grower level, this is where the LoRaWAN journey begins, acquiring vital data from both crop production and animal health. One thing I do want to stress, though, is that this is a very difficult level for sales engagement. Generally, only the top 5 to 8% of early adopters acquire technology. The other 90 to 95%, they'll adopt a technology and all new technology, but when it's supplied through them and pushed down to them through the vertical integration partners. The entry level into digital agriculture really begins at farm mechanization. So that's when the growers, they're acquiring their spray equipment, their new tractors, and all of that equipment comes with pre-installed OEM technology. That technology I really like to refer to as precision agriculture. So that comes with your field computers, with your GNSS equipment, your steering, um, all of that other tracking equipment uh, that you can use in order for your workflows and your loan worker safety. This is the level where everything begins and that's where the farmers today are, are comfortable with, uh, with the equipment. Once you begin moving up in the verticals, we can start talking about banking and finance. Agronomy and field level sensors are used to acquire data for risk mitigation of ag portfolio. So when we think of both banking and insurance, they both need to manage risk. They manage risk from different points of view. But the more data that they have, the more data that can be provided gives them greater visibility into the customer operations of their efficiency and their management. And LoRaWAN provides a unique opportunity to share real-time data with your financial partners about your crop and animal health. So whether we're talking about you know, catastrophic incidents where you can have um, disease running through feedlots, or you can have major hail damage, um, wind, rain damage to crops in the field, being able to provide your partners with more timely information and real-time information is a benefit for both parties. The agricultural retailers, as we more fondly refer to them as ag retailers, they're simply the trusted advisors for the grower level vertical. Most growers today, they engage with ongoing relationships with the ag retailers. And what the ag retailers like to do is offer complete customer integration for the acquisition of agronomy and sensor data so that they can provide additional value add services. 
when we're talking about that, you know, we're talking about putting sensors in the field, weather station sensors, whether we're talking about sensors in the silos to be looking at silage levels, temperature, humidity, whether we're tracking transport vehicles uh, in the field, or whether we're looking at, uh, looking at tank levels of anhydrous. All of that is very valuable information. The more information you have in real time translates into more efficiency. More efficiency translates into a greater IOI, ROI. This is what I like to refer to as the second phase of sensor technology integration into the agribusiness ecosystem. First phase is precision agriculture. This I look at as the second phase. And Laura Wan is well deployed and respected in this sector. You'll really find that the ag retailers today are deploying at great numbers and great speed uh, sensors into, into the whole ecosystem. Seed and chemical manufacturers, they're keen to be acquiring data also. When you look at the sector, everything starts here with the seed variety selection and crop protection. When a grower is looking at that, they need to take into account their own geographical location, climatic conditions, soil composition for their seed varieties, and then subsequently the crop protection. So these seed and chemical manufacturers, they're actually looking at pushing down the technology to the grower level in order to acquire the data that they can use to improve both seed varieties and chemical efficiencies. Also another important aspect of this is Laura Wan Track and Trace Logistics are used to follow input products from manufacturer to the field, tracking both inventory and health of the product. A lot of these ag retail retailers have multiple locations where inventory can be uh, a problem to control. So being able to know in real time where all of your inventory is, is, is obviously a great advantage. But also the health of the product, knowing how that seed was stored or how that chemical was stored. Was it subject to high temperatures? or and high humidities that could affect germination or high temperatures on chemicals which could affect the efficiency of the um, of the chemical all of these are data points very important to the uh, to the manufacturers at this level when we move up from there we begin to look at the global food and beverage companies these global companies are massive and they touch every aspect of crop production. Whether we're looking at dairy, whether we're looking at pineapple, melon, banana production, um, cocoa, coffee, really anything globally. Product traceability is required. And this data at, acquired at this level is being pushed up and down throughout the whole ecosystem. The agribusiness vertical is heavily involved in expanding the acquisition of data. Also, these companies are driven by sustainability programs. And the sustainability programs are driven by data. And data is acquired by sensors. So Laura Wan Connectivity can track crop production and then track that through the delivery to the global food companies providing valuable insight on quality and security of the product. Security of the product comes from, for example, uh, production of bananas in Central America that's being shipped to Europe. You need to know that those containers are secure and that foreign products are not introduced into those containers during transit. Or even during the transit, you want to know how the, um, the temperature and humidities of those containers. You want to be able to monitor that. That ties in also into the insurance industry. Because when containers are received and there's a certain amount of that produce that has now perished, insurance companies are going to be keen to know at what 
point during the transportation logistics did any of that happen. So this level of LoRa visibility provides both the producers and the global food companies with great visibility. It also can provide higher crop value based on data transparency. The more transparent growers can be moving that data up the chain, that crop, depending on how it's produced, will demand a higher value. So being able to provide that data helps the growers increase their ROI. Finally, we move into the consumer retail. The consumer retail requirements are driving data-driven production. Today, consumers themselves, they want to know more. They want to know more about where their food is produced and how the food is produced. So that's actually driving behavior from the consumer retail companies and driving down requirements completely down to the grower level. That's what we're referring to today as field to fork. And that's made possible through cohesive integration of LoRaWAN. Data drives higher quality production and increased revenue for the grower level. So examples of this are where you have a retailer in Europe where they're selling a specific um, fresh produce from South America, their requirements are becoming, yes, we'd like to be able to sell a higher quality product or produce that has less fertilizer, less chemical pesticides and herbicides applied to it. And they're also willing to pay more for that produce. But in order to be able to comply with that, the grower level needs to be able to acquire that data and acquire that traceability from right from the field, right through harvesting, into packaging, into the logistics. And with that, everybody's able to see the visibility of the produce and the products. So with this, I'd like to thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope I've provided an overall global view more of the agribusiness and agri-food and how the data is really supplied amongst all of the sectors. We really need to look at the different sectors and what data is important to each individual one so that those sectors can push the requirements down to the grower level and make the acquisition of data a lot easier. Thank you and have a great day.